Hey, what is up everybody? Hey, it's Timo here. In today's video, we're gonna play on my favorite current class, which is Cleric. Recently, recently, my favorite Cleric playstyle and build got nerfed, but there is one that got buffed on the other hand. And this build is the one that we're gonna be playing in today's video. But before we get to the video, I want to remind you, only 5% of people who are watching my channel has subscribed, the rest did not. Consider press subscribe button if you're interested in a variety of broken builds, because this is what my channel is based on. Anyway, let's go back into today's video. So pretty much, this is what we got. Recently, recently, the new patch brought out the new armor pieces that you could craft and the rub ruby silver cuirass is the one you can craft well since i'm too lazy to craft we're gonna go ahead and buy it and this is the piece we ordered online on ebay just for 9.99 basically a good price for a good piece right here and then boom sold now we have this beautiful chest piece but anyway, anyway, the main key aspect of today's build is going to be the magic stuff. And the magic stuff is the one that got buffed. 15% freaking magic penetration is a lot. And let me tell you that 15% is is 50% more than before than what we have before. <laughs> you know, because previously magic stuff did not have any magic penetration. Now it does, and which actually kind of slaps. So basically, yep, we're gonna play with the magic stuff. For the majority of the build, we're just gonna try to focus um to build a couple of things. One, we're looking to build around 140 health, which you can get pretty easily by just simply buying um play pants, heavy gauntlets, a couple of ring of vitalities, and the vigilant cloak. Well the Robbie Silver offers you wiggers, so pretty much you will end up having a lot of health. And also I'm gonna put a necklace of peace, which is very cheap on the market. One additional magical damage barely doesn't even go into the price. You're paying for additional health and action speed that come with it so for the build we're going to be playing with the faithfulness that's going to be used with the smite we're going to use the perseverance and um perseverance my bad i think the second time i pronounced it the right way protection from evil and the holy aura so pretty much this is what we have we have a little chunky combination which is going to give us combination of everything we'd ever ask for pretty much each and every perk right here gonna add up well together and gonna make our build perform better than ever as for the other perk which we're gonna use in today's video is gonna be the judgment why we're we gonna use the judgment well basically due to the fact that the magic stuff will give us nine magical damage so for example each and every ring you can get is going to add up additional magical damage a cloak you can get one true magical um piece one additional so you you also possibly can get a little bit of damage on the chapel but uh i never really bothered too much with it just simply use of one little fact that the magic stuff fucking already have nine magical damage and there is nine more damage than you ever need you know what i mean that's right away too much my friend and basically this is the build we're gonna go and clap some chicks with so i went with this build and i played with it for for a little until i run into a little trouble i would say I ran out of space completely and also I ran out of space for gold and also I put stuff on the market. Um, some of this stuff isn't selling well even though I undercut everything but it is what it is. And I didn't just put everything on sale on my cleric, I put it on sale I believe on every single other class. Um, actually let me check really quick. I gotta see if barbarian god sold everything or not. Well we also got a little bit of sales on barbarians so pretty much this is the way I make money. I just go clap some cheeks. I put everything in the market on majority of my characters. I do believe I took all the gold from my rogue so this time around there's likely nothing gonna get so oh never mind my rogue also got some profit. Okay we're actually doing not bad I would say. Anyway anyway we're gonna go on this beautiful class which is cleric the man of god himself got nerfed but uh the magic stuff that i literally never ever played in my life was is fucking doing really really good and i didn't know about it i didn't know that magic stuff is actually so impressive and even though the um little perk right here which was the uh, um which made the blunt weapons beautiful well even though it got got it out and basically it still may be good but uh it's nowhere as good as the magic stuff is anyway this is what we're gonna do let's go into the goblin caves and let's clap some cheeks and let's see how far we're gonna get with this build anyway I'll take out one of these off. Hey, help me with help me with usually usually i'm not the blood source i'm gonna be honest but this time is gonna be different they decided to team up in the pre-lobby 
Oh boy, there's absolutely nothing will fucking save them in game. Alright, we gotta rush in and fucking kill everyone as soon as possible. We have no time. The sooner we start clearing up the whole lobby, the better. It's just the thing is, the whole lobby is kind of geared, and which is kind of surprising that they decide to pick their target. My whole gear set is like 3000 gold. It's like fucking literally slightly more than half of a troll pelt, which isn't that fucking crazy. Oh, it's definitely good, but it's not like, you know, insane tier. Bro, Barbarian, he doesn't want no fucking beef. Trust me, guys. This is not me, that's him, okay? Listen, he decided that for himself. I meant no harm, I don't kill naked player, it's not what I like to do, I like to hunt geared players. But listen, he got a cape, so he deserves his penalty. We have a guy right here, around the corner. I wanna blast the fuck out of him. Oh, this is the geared one, this is the geared one. Oh, Pika Vista, motherfucker. This poor innocent fella is trying to use his recurve bow, not even a survival. But that this is not how things gets done. Poor fella didn't know he did like 5 damage to me. Oh well, it is what it is. Thing is, this is absolutely not what he was so supposed to do. He could have run into a doorway, pull his fucking hitter shield out, and that's it. It's so freaking hard to bypass the shield with this stuff. And he didn't even bother, like didn't even try. He has a hitter shield, he has everything he needs to um, at least, you know, fight for his life. Oh yeah, this is the geared guy by the way. Weirdly geared, but geared. Like probably more or less equivalent. I would say around 3000 gold based on uh, my quick calculations. Some pieces are hella damn good, holy cow. Now nah, this is in, but the bow is good. Damn the mace. Free mace. Goddamn, brother. Yeah, that's like three grand, half a pelt right there. Oh, I think I found our homeboys. Oh. Oh. Yeah, there's, a guy. there's no saving for you guys. He headshot at me. <laughs> brother. You might be slightly delusional. Alright, let's pop a blue pod. I'm healing? Oh, big time, yeah. Alright, let's see what the next move gonna be. Let's see if one of them will try to jump in. If that's what's gonna happen, bro. Insta death. Okay, brother. Oh, it's fine. Rogue is dead. Okay, maybe not. <sighs> Why are you running, little bitch? Try to pre-team in the lobby and now fucking run away? It's not how things get done, brother. Give me 10 more rogues like that, maybe you will end up killing me once. Okay, you're dead. GG. Okay, and here we go, we have a panther. <laughs> no, no, that's not how you're gonna get me killed, brother. In fact... I can just freely take the shrine while trying to tank a couple more hits. Come here, you YouTuber. <laughs> Brother! I was standing still, how did you miss two hits? Are you serious? Pika Vista brother, you're fucking dead. But there's one thing I wanna say, there's absolutely no excuse for you guys to be so fucking horrible this game. Not You guys are not just horrible, you guys are absolute fucking trash. This is a tragedy, brother! Physical power, armor pen, additional move speed, action speed. Oh well, it is what it is. Damn, bro, it's actually been a minute. Last time I played on a class that feels so freaking good, it's been a minute. No fighter, no rogue, nothing feels remotely close to playing on a cleric. This class is just fucking broken. Oh my goodness, brother. Look at this juicer, 143 health. Ooh. He doesn't know it yet, but I'm gonna be his on dumb toes. And I wanna take his cheese for sure. Hell yeah, brother. We got a geared bard, and that makes me happy. And a little bit excited. I'm not sure if it's like a new matchmaking or something, but somehow all the geared players managed to find me with some first couple minutes. Like, deadass. 
I'm not sure what he wants from me, but um, let's not talk in voice chat because it's gonna ruin the experience for him. <laughs> okay, dokie. Well, I mean, here is let's use a very simple strat. We're not gonna let him know that we have a um, judgment. You know, we're just gonna fucking mess around with him for a little bit. Up until he starts to give it up. We gotta put him in the full aggression fucking balls deep W key mod. And once he is, you know, ready, once he is kinda fucking cooked out, put on oil, about to get grilled, and he would feel like, you know, he got this, we'll turn around and kill him. That's what I usually like to do when I come across really geared players. I'm not gonna cast my judgment on him because then I would have to chase him. We gotta make him chase us instead. So yeah, just do what it takes. He's definitely one to fucking get me for sure, like, you know, just a matter of time. Ideally, ideally, we gotta get him close enough to judgment him. And then we gotta have him far enough away from the door so we will be able to connect our hits. This is like a very, very basic strat, especially if you want to win against very geared players. This guy was very geared, and uh, I absolutely don't want to have a chance to miss out on his beautiful gear set. He doesn't know it yet, but his gear set belongs to me now. Just a matter of time. Worst case scenario, I'm gonna be the one running after him, but um, I'm not interested for now. I could double key him, but uh, nah. It's okay for now, it's, let's just play our game. Hide and seek. The best bet is to make him feel like you, I don't want to fight him or something. And, um, you know, once card's gonna line up, it's actually gonna be... it's actually gonna work out. He is really feeling it. He's like, oh shit, I'm so close. I almost got up to him. Oh no, he hit, shot me more than once. So he's like, oh, he's probably already missing a lot of hells. Alright, almost there. Oh wow, I shot him three times. He's gotta be low, he's gotta be, he's not gonna be feeling it, he's not feeling it. Oh no, I gotta use bandage, I gotta use bandage, I'm not sure what am I supposed to do. Oh god. Fuck, I think I got carried away. <laughs> he's not chasing me anymore, brother, what the hell. Oh no, this is the bard! Oh god. Wait. Oh man. My mic in the game is off or something. I thought I'm talking the game. <laughs> Alright, look at him, look at him. He's actually, he's right there, he's right there. It's like, you know, the first stage before medium rare, you know what I mean? Oh, there is also a guy at the end of the room, by the way. So we'd have to be clean here. Okay, he doesn't have a weapon. He dies. Literally, he dies. That's just it. <laughs> Could have done it faster? Maybe. But this was by far the best the cleanest way you can get the job done, especially when it comes to dealing with bars or rogues. Wait, we have a guy here. Oh no! What am I supposed to do? God damn! Sorry. Yeah, that was that was kind of cringe. I want to take this guy's stuff before we got to fight, because just in case, I don't want uh, some rat take all the cheese. You're gonna kill this guy the exact same way. For the most part, they think they can get me, but um. You know, it's just the way I like to play. Alright, there's one trick I noticed. You could use the torch to break through... You know, to get him out of the fucking um, phantom eyes. So it's actually... What the fuck was this guy's plan? Does he know that he died? Oh, holy fuck. That's not the way I would expect it go, but I guess it is what it is. Holy cow, brother. I'm not sure how much money we made this time. I would assume more than 5,000. Definitely not a bad game, for sure. Hmm. We have someone here. Let's go check. The whole lobby is so freaking geared, and I somehow didn't come across a single player, bro. That's ridiculous. I heard someone behind the ways. Oh, why the fuck did I use my E? Fat fingered a little. It's okay. Let's bait this guy to get in here. And that's where he's gonna die. In this case, if he decides to push me, if he decides to run away, well, I mean, I have another plan for this situation. <laughs> Let's see. 
I don't really care much about potions. Mainly, mainly, they're like a form of a gateway. When people see you have a blue potion, they start to make different decisions. So it's like, oh, hey, he used a potion. How about we wait it out? Or, oh, hey, he used a potion. He's probably scared. It's like, you know, list of things could be in people's mind. Nice. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, he is running now. Okay. He definitely did not like this. The door is close to the right. Oh, so he thought he would be able to... Oh, actually... Bro! This is it, GG. No, it's not GG. Good thing the mob hit him. He's like one, two hits away from dying. He's not dead yet. He got hit twice, bro. Holy fuck. This guy owned me straight up. Good thing mobs were on my side this time around. By the way, I gotta give him a credit. He is using the uh, meta S tier fighter build. The one that I absolutely love and usually that uh, I made a bunch of videos about. Absolutely the best fighter build there is. Doesn't take much effort, skill or cost to build. And very fucking effective. Will last you for dozens and dozens of games. Alright, we gotta check what our homeboy has. Last time I checked, the whole lobby was giga geared. Oh, fuck me. I'm gonna run out of space soon. Okay, yeah, this guy is juicer. Hell yeah. Additional weapon damage. Ooh, bandies. Ooh, hell yeah. This guy came fucking prepared. Might as well take a couple of bottles. Not a bad idea, especially if we come across a druid. We have two people in this room. Alright, let's fight the guys first. And the guy, that guy will try to start fighting me, I would assume. Okay. One, two, three. Let's heal up a little, and let's fight him as well once we get our cooldown spec. He has a PDR and without a smite, I do zero damage with my magic stuff. It's like literally does no damage. So we gotta be a little bit careful. Might as well let him hit me once. Let's see. Okay. Headshot. Sure, I'm getting owned. Ah, never mind. That wasn't a headshot? That's weird. I thought it was a clean headshot. I guess it wasn't. Oh well. It is what it is. We got a lot more gears than we could fit in. Oh well, because the guy gear said that we got early on is good enough. Well, I'll still try to fit in some more cheese. And we still have plenty of time, so we're in no rush. Holy hell, brother. I wish I would have more space. Shit. Oh well. Okay, not a bad third game. We go into the next one. We have a wizard, a warlock, and a fighter. And the thing is, if I start to fight one of them, someone will start start fighting, so I will have to... Oh, you bitch. I have to think twice before I want to engage. I wish I can find the fighter. That's the uh, priority target, I would say. The rest doesn't really matter. And maybe this warlock has got a pretty good tunic. Yeah, I don't mind killing him either. This is the fighter. Literally have four people in one place. Ideally, ideally, he just fucking gets around the corner and start try W Kimmy. That's gonna happen. I will likely two shot him or three shot him. I miss. One more hit. Right in the face. Probably would take two body hits or one headshot. I did hit him though like twice so far, so it's understandable. Well, that's how it's gonna be like. So basically he was fighting a fucking PDR fighter who hits real hard, like absolute tank. So yeah, it was not in his favor. But that's why this build is really damn good. You know, I'm not gonna say it's not. It really is good. 
But um, if you have a hitter shield, it's actually so easy. Oh, holy fuck, he's scared. It's actually so easy to counter this build. Or with a longsword, a good longsword player will absolutely destroy clerics like this. Because pretty much the... Uh, you gotta aim at the general direction. And basically you're just gonna block it. Simple as that. Seems like there's something going on. I saw a bunch of fireballs. Let's see if I could sneak up on this guy. Cancel, what the heck? Oh, this is dead end, brother. <laughs> he got erased from existence. Well, another free kid. I'll take it. I don't have space though, because the stuff that I already got is pretty good. But okay. Usually, I wouldn't recommend anyone fighting a wizard, but this guy was fucking chasing me for past two minutes. So I might as well go and fuck with him a little bit. That will do. <laughs> he has a bunch of rings with additional magical damage. He was a threat. I had to kill him. Ah, oh, man, we have a guy camping this thing. Damn. Does he know what he is getting himself into? I don't think he knew what he just fucking did to himself. <laughs> Extract was right here, brother. Just take it. Listen, he wouldn't get some cheese, he got some cheese. So, don't mind if I do. We have a guy doing the troll. Let's go see what the guy is up to. Oh! Well, that was convenient, I guess. He didn't open the door, so he's gotta be close somewhere. You piece of shit, bro. <laughs> he already did that, by the way. Oh no. This was a geared guy, by the way. This guy is super geared. Oh my goodness, brother. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no, brother. That's like what? Another seven, maybe eight thousand gold. Okay. Not bad. You have Warlock here. That's the only geared guy, by the way. Haven't seen anyone geared in the lobby. Might as well kill him and go into the next one. Hopefully we will be done with it pretty fast. I haven't encountered many geared rogues. I'm more interested in killing some of those, you know what I mean. He's kinda getting hurt. He got hit a couple of times already. Okay, that did hurt. His, like, half HP, because, like, that thing... Increase the magical damage you're gonna receive. So yeah, he's like very fucking hurt. Also, he has plate. Oh, fucking mommy. We we'll take a minute to hunt him down, but um, we gotta do it anyway. I don't think he was really able to heal up much from the moment I blasted him. Phantomize is great, but now when you're about to get blasted by a fucking fairy. <laughs> Alright, let's use the potion of heal. Maybe if he had like um troll's blood, he probably would be fine. But if he doesn't, well, I don't think he is fine. Let's see if he can try to be able to fit. Nope, he decided to turn around. I'm slightly faster than him. He just used phantomize like that. Not sure why. He just fucking lock himself out. What is his option? He's gonna go to jump down, try open the door. You forgot your warlock, brother. Chichi. I think this is what the geared one. Oh yeah, this is the geared one. Bunch of true. Not bad. Maybe another three, four thousand gold. Currently, our kid paid off like maybe ten times already. Because I didn't really spend that much gold on this build, to be honest. Barely spent anything. Like around 3,000 gold. The most expensive part is the magic stuff, 800 gold, and the um, rubber silver plate, another 800 um, gold. The rest is like 300 above. 
So I was trying to find anyone for the past five minutes, and I guess we're just gonna go tech extract. And um, wasn't really able to find anyone who would be interested to kill. Seemed like someone was here. Oh well. Them mosquitoes always tried to bite. Unfortunately, this time around, we only got one geared rogue, and God knows where he could be at. Chances that I find him actually very fucking low. Wait, there is some fucking sound. Someone just killed the mob, Norse. Ah. Understandable. Yeah, this is the geared rogue I was talking about, by the way. Alright, well, let's quickly loot this guy up and let's go directly to the next game because there's just literally nothing else to do in this one. Yeah, slightly geared. A little bit of agility, a little bit of max health. Maybe a couple thousand. A little bit of damage. A little bit of max health. A little bit of true. I fucking always forget that it takes so much time to actually loot corpses. Not bad. Ooh, I like those. Hell yeah. Bro, there is a ranger, but um, I don't want to kill him. Like, generally, I don't want to kill him. Him like a new guy. Oh, rest in peace. <laughs> Interesting. I haven't seen a fucking geared cleric in the pre lobby. Surprised he appeared out of fucking nowhere. Out of thin air. Well, let's go fuck with him, I guess. He's probably too slow to catch up to a ranger. Gotta be prepared. What the fuck? Okay. Oh no. Oh no. This ranger is pure fucking evil. Good thing I didn't kill him. He stepped in a trap! <laughs> This guy is a, such a massive fucking troll. Not only did he close the door in his face. Oh, this is so fucking funny, bro. <laughs> bro, I'm genuinely surprised because all I saw was one rogue and I somehow came across three people with escapes. That is so weird. I mean, unless he has a door open here, there is no fucking option for this guy. Even though I messed up my judgment, doesn't change anything. Okay, one more. GG. Damn, he got a pretty good cloak, not bad. There is a rogue. I completely ran out of space, there is only a couple of geared people in this lobby. Let's go give some mental trauma to this guy. <laughs> I mean, there's really nothing else to do. I've been trying to find geared players for so long, but it's actually a lot harder than you think. I'm not gonna kill him though. Little arm hit. Oh no. My best bet to make mobs kill him. That would be the fucking final stage of evilness. Listen, cleric is the most evil class, you know what I mean? No, oh, it's fair. It's kind of fair, you know. I'm role playing. Alright, if he's gonna survive the next three punches with the torch, he's gonna win. Okay. Bro. Let me throw one at you. Okay. Ah, okay, GG brother. The absolute chat. Giga rogue, man. Handled my challenge. GG brother. Oh, look. There is Angelina just killed somebody. Holy cow. God damn. By the way, this is the geared cleric. If anything, I gotta be careful with it. Thing is, though, this is the spell cleric. Which is quite rare. Okay. Oh, I messed up. One more. 
<laughs> GG. If this guy gonna shoot me, he dies. One arrow. If he's gonna hit one fucking arrow at me, he's gonna die. There's nothing will fucking save him. You're fucking dead to me. Oh well, there is not that many geared players, but at least we got every geared player we were able to um, came across, and pretty much. I'm gonna be honest, I enjoyed this magic stuff build. It's really damn good. The fucking 50% magic penetration did wonders. It's like, honestly, this build feels like what the cleric used to feel before they nerf. It's really damn good, I'm gonna be honest. But, um, other than the fact that uh, the attack animation fucking suck. We didn't really make too much, we barely made like maybe like 35 40,000 gold, but oh well, it is what it is. Anyway, it's Timo, I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I'll see you in a dungeon. Peace out.